Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I'm going to be showing you how to put the stenciling on our painted prayer. Again, I am doing um, the Lauren Daigle You Say. And my name is Heidi Easley. I teach people how to make money teaching paint parties. And today you can get my free ebook. It, the link is in the, the description. I'm also going to be giving away some of my favorite products. So if you share this, I'm going to be, or comment, share, comment, and I'm gonna be giving away a box of my favorite products from Deco Art. So thank y'all for being here. I'm actually gonna be doing the stenciling. So I appreciate y'all coming in. Hey guys, hey Karen, hey Ginger, hey Audrey. Y'all tell me where you're from and if you're already teaching paint parties. So I have been working on this, Lauren Daigle, you say, and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing the stencil. I was actually going to do this um, on my own and then show you how I was painting it. And I was like, you know, y'all might wanna know how to do this part. Um, are y'all interested in this? Cause this is a vinyl and I can talk more about that, but I didn't know how much y'all were interested in that. So let me know if you're interested and if so, I will demonstrate. And for those of y'all that are, oh good, thank you for sharing. Yeah, those of you that share, I'm gonna be giving away a box of goodies. Um, some of my favorite products from Deco Art. And then also, um, right now, I have a free ebook. If you put it in the description, I am doing a webinar all on, what is it, Pixie? What does valid mean? Valid, it means like, um, what, how would you say the definition for valid? Pixie's doing her homework. Valid, it means it's... Um, like true? True, yeah. That's, would that be right? That valid? Sorry, we got homework time during a live. Um, so I have something very exciting happening on Sunday night. Those of you that are um, not on my email list, you can get on my email list. Oh, true, Karen says true. Thank you, Karen. Um, Karen's helping with homework. <laughs> this um, ebook is gonna get you on my email list. And on Sunday, I have a whole webinar coming out. It's a free training, but it's not gonna be on this live. It's actually gonna be in a, an email link that I'm gonna send you. Um, so that's how you can get on my email list. And there's gonna be so much. So the coolest thing is, is I did a training that was released today and I already have messages of people who have booked paint parties from that training and they are freaking out because now they're like, oh, I have people interested, but what do I do? So um, if you have a person who's kind of interested in that, please tell them. Again, this is um, coming up Sunday and the trainings won't be up forever. So if you have not watched the trainings yet, you wanna watch them because they're gonna be taken down after next week. Okay, so this is a vinyl, it's like the contact paper. Sounds fun, huh? <laughs> and for those of y'all that don't know me, my name is Heidi Easley and I am the owner of Texas Art and Soul. I teach paint parties all over the country, anywhere from California to Texas to Florida, all over. And I'm going to show you on this painted prayer. I'm actually, um, I have the words for you say from Lauren Daigle. And thank y'all, those of you that are sharing, I'm going to put you in the drawing for the, the box of supplies. I'm going to ship those out next week, probably late next week, if I'm honest. Um, so I'm just kind of finding a placement in the middle and then I'm gonna drop this. Let me make sure y'all can see it. I'm gonna drop it and push down, and then I'm just gonna pull this out. Sometimes it's better to do this in shorter. I am I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to this. Oh, thank y'all for sharing. And um, again, if you share and comment, I'm gonna be putting your name in a drawing for a bunch of supplies, some of my favorite metallic paints from um, Deco Art. They are, they're what I used on this. I used a ton of metallics on this. So, um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm putting this on the clear and then I'm just gonna cut this and I'm using an Oracle, Oracle 813. And this Oracle 813, the reason I'm using it is because, and let me know if y'all have any questions with paint parties. Um, and if y'all want to know how that lady booked so many from just watching one of my videos, if you want to know, put a yes in the comments and I'll tell you. And um, so the reason I use the Oracle 813 is because it's a, a one-time use. 
a one-time, um, kind of like for airbrush stencils, it's a one-time use. Oh, love metallics, Ginger, me too. I am pretty much obsessed with metallics now. I used to um, never know how to do metallics. Um, actually, I didn't even know about metallics. And then I was teaching, my very first year teaching um, art, I was teaching in middle school, and um, one of the projects, a girl brought it in. My art studio is, actually it's not as messy as it usually is. It's usually way messier, if you could see that way. It's actually pretty cleaned up because I had to put a new tablecloth on. So when I get the new tablecloth on, you know, before I destroy it again, about every six months I buy a new plastic tablecloth because it destroys it. Um, is the word spelled wrong on the first line? Oh, you say, um, when I can't feel a thing, oh, it needs a G. My G, is that what you're talking about, Karen? My G didn't um, cut for some reason. So, first off, I just want to say thank y'all for watching. Um, I'm just going to bring it down for a minute. I feel like I've been going nonstop today. <laughs> Have you had one of those days before where you just, it just doesn't stop? Like, my husband came in and I was like, I feel like, I have been going all day and I was talking to the members of Paint Party Headquarters today and we had almost a two hour long um, where I just gave a ton of information and answered questions and I was like, this is my to-do list I must do before bed and I have not touched it yet. <laughs> I have not touched it yet. So tomorrow morning I am waking up early and I'm tackling that to-do list because I, I just, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get it done today for my paint party events. And um, Shelly says, I have that same Lion King shirt. Shelly, do you know the new Lion King shirt? The new Lion King um, is coming out very soon. Have you seen the Lion King on Broadway? It is so good. I cry, I'm like obsessed with Lion King. And um, those of you that don't know me, if you wanna teach paint parties with painted prayers or any kind of paint parties, Download this free ebook. It's 17 on my website. I'm giving it away for free, but I don't know how long I'm going to have that offer. So, and those of you that share and comment, I'm going to be picking one of you to ship a bunch of supplies to. So, thank you all so much for doing that. But basically, um, what I did was I took a piece of wood. Painted prayers are so, so important to me. There's so many times we're telling ourselves these negative words. I mean, we're not good enough. You know, nobody likes us. <laughs> what was that off of Saturday Night Live when they says, I'm not good enough. Nobody likes me. Just, who remembers what that is? But um, there's so many times when we're, you know, every day we're having to like control this crazy mind of ours. And um, especially if you're creative. Um, any of y'all out there, you know, got that creative mind where you have a thousand ideas coming into your head every day. Like a simple conversation of us talking about the, the doorbell liquor, have y'all seen that? Turned into us creating a wrap, which ended up creating t-shirts. I mean, we had this whole guy's marketing plan for him in the matter of five minutes because that's just how our brains work. When you're creative, it just does not stop. And this is from that stupid Huffington Post where he, it's like some weird doorbell liquor. Have y'all heard of him? So strange. But anyway, so if you're creative, you end up talking about the doorbell liquor and you end up making a rap about him and then you end up talking about how you could sell t-shirts and it's just, that's how our brain works. It's psycho, isn't it? <laughs> totally crazy. So if you're a person who's creative like that, your brain can just go nuts. Does anybody have that problem? Is it just me? Are we the only weird family here? I hope not. I hope there's more of y'all out there. Hey, Brenda. Oh, I love Brenda. Hey, Monica. Think and week are missing the K. Oh, Monica. Monica, what would I do without you? Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have to paint that in freehand. Hey, Carla. Okay, so anybody else out there? Okay, you are laughing. Good. You understand what I'm talking about. So what is so important about painted prayers? You have got to... You have got to like create an environment where words are words are, are in your favor. I mean, you have got to do it. I have a, a thing quote by Gabby Bernstein that I painted that says, relax, it all turns out great, or it's going to be great. And there's so many things like that. So those of y'all that are just joining, if you share, I'm gifting a box of supplies. I'm going to pick one of y'all if you're sharing and commenting and liking. And then also... um. 
free ebook available right now. I have a really, really cool um, webinar coming up Sunday night. And if you're on this email list with this ebook, um, you can click it in the description and you're gonna get access to that webinar. It's like an hour to two hour webinar on Sunday night where I'm just gonna dive into everything paint party related and answer so many questions and just help you get started. Like I said, I released a video today, which if you get on my email list, you'll get it tomorrow. And um, people already started today. They took the challenge I gave them and they already started getting um, bookings. They already started getting people record, like asking like, okay, what date and all of that. So it is definitely stuff that works. Um, I hear you, Lisa says, I hear you about being busy. I got your ebook two days ago and haven't had a clear minute to read it, hopefully this weekend. Yeah, those of you that haven't gotten it yet, I don't. I sell it for 17 on my website, so I don't know how long I'm gonna have it for free. Um, so get it now while it's free. I have ideas laying in bed trying to sleep. Karen, me too. Oh my gosh, the other night I couldn't even sleep. I just got back up and started doing stuff because I was like, okay, God, I hear you. Okay, God, let me go write that down. Um, I want one. The painted prayer, is that what you're saying, Brenda? Carla, thank you for sharing. Tessa, thank you for sharing. You missed the K on the week. Thank you, Brenda. I know. I Sometimes that little cutter over there, it doesn't do its job all the way. Maybe, maybe I forgot to type it. I might have forgot to type it. Okay, so let me know if y'all have questions. And this is just the, the start of it. Can y'all see this? It's a great ebook. Oh, thank you, Ginger. Um, so this is just the start of it. So basically, it's a three-part, okay? There's a backing, and my nails are destroyed. I went and got my nails done for the first time in 23 years. And instead of going to get it taken off, I was in the middle of watching a show, The Series of Unfortunate Events. Do y'all watch that? It is so good. The Boudelaires. Do y'all watch The Boudelaires? Anyway, it is so, so good. Um, and I ended up like just starting to pick on my nails. And once you start, it's like pulling wallpaper. Like you can't stop. You know, you just keep pulling it. And when I did that, I destroyed my nails. Oh my gosh. So now these nails that used to really get the, the stuff pulled off really easy is kind of all jacked up. So I learned my lesson. Okay, so you say, and I was talking earlier just a little bit about why painted prayers are important. Um, oh, Carla's watched it. It is so creative. I mean, those writers in the costumes that the villain gets to wear, the girl villain, um, it is so creative. I'm just like, every time I watch that show, I'm just like, oh, I want to go paint something right away. Let me see. Yes, I watched it. Oh, Shelly, she watched it, and she is number three. You are the confident artist. Is that, um, yeah, so I, in that challenge, which if you sign up to get my ebook, you're going to get that challenge in your inbox tomorrow. By the way, thank y'all so much for sharing, and thank y'all. I, I can't wait to surprise one of y'all with a bunch of fun little gifts. I love, I love giving stuff away, um, and it'll have some of my favorite metallics in it. So thank you for sharing, and thank you for commenting and liking. Um, it's so, so sweet of y'all, so thank you. So yeah, so what Shelly's talking about is in that video, I talked to you about which artist you are. Are you the hopeful artist, the artist that just started you know, painting, or maybe you're like, hey, this painted prayer looks awesome, I wanna try one, because it is so important to put encouraging words in your path. Um, we have so many times, I know there's somebody, um, I'm not gonna say who they are, but they have always battled with an, a weight issue, and they have tried every single diet in the book, they have tried every single quick fix, they have tried everything, and they still just have trouble with it. It's, you know, we all have something that we struggle with, right? Um, and so I think that sometimes we have to remember, like, what words are we telling ourselves? And remember that God always, always has our back, and that we, if we leave it to Him, you know, it's going to be okay. And so whenever you're, um, you know, thinking about maybe doing a paint party, the painted prayers are so much fun because... Everybody gets to choose what's important to them. Everybody gets to choose, like, these words. I mean, if you're in a bad mood, go to Lauren Daigle's song, You Say. It will put you in the right mood. It will just help you put things in perspective. Does anybody agree with me on that? 
so <laughs> Brenda says preach. I know I really, I try not to preach, but I just get on my soapbox sometimes because I just think it's so important that we, we come from a place of love and showing God's love through art. And I mean, I cannot say that enough. Like I entered this paint party business thinking I was just going to make some extra money and it would be fun. Like literally that is why I entered it. And then I started, you know, making extra money and having a lot of fun. But then before I knew it, I realized I was getting emails. I remember the first email I got, I was in the car with my husband on the way to the grocery store. And I remember I was like, oh my gosh. And I was reading this email from a customer and she said, she said, oh my gosh. She, she said something like, you know, I found your flyer on the water cooler. It was at a clubhouse. And she said, I didn't think I was going to come. She actually signed up to come alone. And she said she had been battling PTSD and she got there. And I mean, we, we had very few interactions and she sent me this long email about how it's helping her figure out like, you know, you know, she found a place where she could start to believe in herself again. All of these, you know, things that I thought, I thought I was just providing a paint party. You know, I thought I was just providing a social fun experiment and then experience. And then it's like, so much more and it's not just me it's so many people out there teaching paint parties i always like to say i'm only one person i can only teach so many paint parties but if we have a whole arsenal of people out there teaching paint parties showing god's love through art like how much better of a place the world will be if we're you know off our phones for two or three hours connecting with other ladies and possibly finding friendships through that i mean it's just the coolest job in the world. Anybody have a, anybody agree with that? Coolest job in the world. And um, let's see. Okay, so Shelly says number three, got the ebook. Um, amen, Donna. Yes, <laughs> love watching your videos. Thank you, Tanya. It's okay, love it. Never stop. Oh, thank you for it. Yeah, I do not claim to be a preacher. I just tell me, you know, I just say what I, I think needs to be said and, and just coming from my heart. So, um, and we need to have compassion for ourselves. Yes. Oh, thank y'all for the likes. Yeah, it's just so, so important to me. I just feel like it's been a bigger mission than just paint parties. You know, the more, the more I get into this and the more I see how you teach in paint parties has changed your life. Um, you know, I know Brenda's on here. She, was it Brenda, did you teach, did you paint five paintings before you started teaching a paint party? I mean, this woman is insanely awesome. She just really had this passion and this desire and, and really thought like how, you know, I think I really want to do this and really loved the idea of painting. And now she's like creating her own paintings. She's actually funded a book. Brenda, if you want to put the title of the book in the comments, definitely. Oh, hey, Rita, another one of my favorite people. Y'all, my paint party headquarters people, Ginger, y'all on here, y'all are my, my favorite people in the world. <laughs> I love all of y'all, but definitely my, my paint party headquarters group. We have some, we have a lot of fun, don't we? And yeah, Brenda um, funded a, a passion project she had, a book that she had been wanting to write. And um, I think that is just the coolest thing. You know, sometimes it's not about just making money for our bills or our groceries. Sometimes it's just about wanting to get out of the house. I mean, can I? Can I get somebody to say yes to that? <laughs> Needing some social time with some with some other ladies. That's the coolest thing. It's like we're, you know, paint party people aren't, you know, they're fun. Paint party people are fun. <laughs> they're very, very exciting to hang out with. And so how cool is it to get paid and hang out with cool people and build friendships that way? So those of y'all just tuning in, my name's Heidi Easley. I'm gifting a box of fun supplies to one lucky winner. Share, comment, all of that good stuff. And then I am also, if you have not gotten on my email list, I'm giving away a really great training. Tomorrow you're gonna receive a training on how to book parties fast. Um, the link is in the description, just click on it. And um, if you don't get the email, check your spam because Sunday night, I have a special invitation to a um, webinar I'm gonna do live. So I want you there. There's so much information. And um, Brenda says, commandments broken by Brenda Boyd Easterling. You can message me for one, $14.95. Yeah, it's an, uh, yeah, it's an awesome book, I've read it. And um, right on, congratulations, Brenda. I mean, how cool is that? Like, 
to fund something that you're passionate about, you know? I know when I was really, like when I was teaching full time, a lot of times people think like, oh, if I do this, I, you know, I have to quit my job. I have to, you know, no, you don't have to go like all in. Just do one party a month. One party a month, if you follow my steps and do one party a month, and let's say you, you know, have 10 people at $40 a person, that's an extra 400 before your expenses. So you're looking at about 300 and $40 extra a month for just one party of 10. Think if you use my methods and did a party of 20. One party a month for 20 people. That's 800 before your expenses. And then think if you just put that money aside. Like Kelly, one of our um, people, she is doing a, she's doing a big summer vacation for her family. And so she's just been stashing all this money away to do this big old family vacation so that they could, you know, I mean, I remember when me and Pixie, um, we did a big girls trip to New York City, and it was the coolest thing, because I was teaching full-time, and I was basically doing paint parties full-time. It really was starting to take off, and um, she was, I think, seven, six or seven, and um, I had the entire trip paid for before I went. And those of y'all that don't know me, I mean, over 10 years ago, bankruptcy to business owner before the age of 30. So I was a mess. I was a disaster. And um, to know that, like, not only did I have it all paid for, I mean, we had two Broadway shows. We ate out every single meal. We um, had this fun girls trip, and it was all paid for. And I remember I was in New York City. And um, you say I am love, and I just want to make sure I have the right thing. Um... I remember I was in New York City the first night. We went ice skating in Central Park. And here I am ice skating with my cousins, Pixie, um, my mother-in-law, my aunt, all these people. And I was just so happy and just so proud of myself. And um, I was so proud of myself because I felt like I had done it. You know, like, oh my gosh, not only did it work, like I paid for this awesome trip for my family. And I, all of it's paid for. Nothing was on a credit card. Nothing was charged. I wasn't gonna, you know, buy a, a sweatshirt at Wicked, you know, which I did. I spent like the 70 something dollars on a sweatshirt. Cause I mean, I had earned the money and I was gonna spend it in New York City. I was so excited. I had saved it all. And we just had a blast. I mean, the feeling of just going somewhere after you've worked so hard and saved for it and know that that's what it was for and just the, the the whole planning process of the excitement of knowing it was coming and knowing I could do it and um, just made me so happy so when I saw on that video the comments of people saying like I booked a party like I did what you said today and people are already contacting me back that's how fast it can happen I mean I'm not sitting here saying do this i did this once a long time ago i mean i booked a party this way this week so it's like stuff that i am doing right now to book parties so watch that video and if you don't know what video i'm talking about sign up in the description for this free ebook and you're going to get that video tomorrow morning in your inbox and watch it and take the freaking challenge just do the challenge because I'm telling you you will be so surprised on what happens um let's see okay so congratulations brenda it's awesome money yes brenda it totally is and that's the thing don't be um you know get over the fact of like oh i shouldn't take money for doing something i love you know like we pay movie theaters all the time we pay yoga instructors <laughs> we go to we go to the ymca i don't know about you but i i don't go to the ymca thinking it's going to be free um okay so lisa says my brain is spinning thinking about hosting a paint party yay i want to read your ebook but i want to finish watching you here ebook is in my phone which is where i'm watching you <laughs> lisa that makes me so happy don't worry it will be there ready for you if you signed up it will be sent to your email so check your spam if you don't get it because i want you to read it's a it's a quick read 40 pages a lot of pictures so you'll be able to read it fast and in this, I pulled off. This was the clear that I pulled off. And then I'm just taking a basic brush, a, a flat brush. And then I'm just making sure I only go into the 
the blue, like the inside of the blue. Because I don't want to go outside the blue or I'm going to mess it all up. Um, let's see. I'm pressing how hard you push on the vinyl. Okay, so this one, Brenda, is a little um, more durable. And as you can see, I made the background very rough on purpose. I want it to look a little worn, a little vintage, a little beat down. And then that way I can not, if I have mistakes, like these aren't real crisp, but I'm gonna go in and actually add some more colors to it and add more. And I'm, I'm gonna share the process with y'all. So keep watching for my lives. And again, those of y'all that are sharing this with friends, um, I'm gonna be giving away a free little box of goodies shipped to your house so thank you for sharing and um commenting and then i'll announce the winner next week so i'm just doing this right here and then you want to pull it up when it's wet okay i need to practice before i try to have a paint party yeah tanya and paint party headquarters which you know i'll talk more about that in the coming days but I actually teach a tutorial every month to my paint party headquarters. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up. Can y'all see this? Okay. Sometimes I can't see with the comments. And I didn't spell it all the way right, so I'm gonna have to freehand. You are gonna watch me freehand upside down. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this challenge? <laughs> I'm gonna freehand upside down. Let's see if I can do take the pressure. Let me find the right brush. Hold on, folks. Um, let's see. I'm going to find a brush that will work. Yeah, so sometimes um, sometimes you have to, um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh, practice. So sometimes if you go through, because remember, when you're teaching a paint party, this is not my favorite brush, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. When you're teaching a paint party, you're teaching beginner, beginner paint parties, right? So remember when you do this, it's not always about like here, I'm, it's never about us, remember. It's always about them, how you can create the best experience for them. Um, I'm gonna look at this G so I don't totally jack it up real quick. I'm not gonna paint it backwards because I'm gonna, I don't wanna totally jack it up. Um, can y'all see, am I y'all's way? And so it's always about them. It's not about us, us being the superstar painter. It's really about creating an experience for them to be able to have this awesome social experiment, this social night with their friends and family, all the excitement that comes with that. And what you need to remember, Tanya, I think that was Tanya that said that, um, what you need to remember is that you are just showing the technique. So yes, I'm not saying, you know, never have painted and good luck and just go do it. But I am saying that you could practice some of the tutorials like I give in Paint Party Headquarters. And if you have that painting down, then you're ready to teach it. Because when I teach, I'll show a few little um, techniques, then I start talking. I start going around and helping people. And um, that is really, that is really um, the most important thing is making sure you're helping your customers. And um, let's see, Tanya, or Brenda says, I'm watching how hard you press on the vinyl. I didn't press, did you see how I just did the, the um, fingernails like that? And then pull off as soon as you're done. Um, Karen says, so if you book a location, how do you find the people to come? Great question, I will answer that. How do you spell guinea pig party for Tanya? Guinea pig, G-U-I-E-N-E-A, G-U-I-N-E-A, I think. Boy, you should have seen my first painting. Oh my, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> Brenda, you are, I'm so proud of you, Brenda. You are killing it. And like I said, Brenda, she is a new proud grandma and she is just, has such a passion for not only God, but for just serving others and really um, just excited about having other people paint. So, you know, there are some paintings that I do not show on this, on here. We all, we all have those paintings, don't we? We all have those paintings that are crazy. Oh, and let me know if you shared. That way when I go in, I can just quickly look um, when I go to pick the winner. And I always, I always follow up with a winner. So if I've had it done alive in the past and I said there was going to be a winner, and don't worry, if I haven't announced it yet, I always follow up and, and send out what I say I'm going to send out. 
So um, I know we have a couple of another little care package. So I just pressed it down and I'm just using my fingers to do this just around that part. And then I'm just going to pull this up and then I'm going to get, I'm going to answer that question about, Oh, thank you for sharing. Um, yeah, the webinar for Sunday is going to be big. So if you're, if you're wanting to teach paint parties, you have got to be there. It's going to be Sunday night at 7 PM. You, it's not going to be a Facebook live. So you've got to get on my email list and make sure you can get on my email list by getting the free ebook today. So if you have a crafty, maybe like you're not wanting to do this, but you have a crafty or artsy friend, and um, these videos are not gonna be available. Like right now I have a whole Paint Party Revolution series of videos that um, I've posted on my website at texasartandsoul.com under my blog, but they're not gonna be up for very long. They're only gonna be up for and this couple of weeks, and then I'm gonna take them down. So if you want a massive amount of information, I highly recommend. They're about 20 minutes long each. They're not, you know, crazy, but they're packed with um, lots of the stuff that I use right now. I mean, it's all really great information. So if you've seen it, um, let us know on here if you really like them or not. So I'm just pulling this off and then I'm gonna answer that question. If anybody has questions, let me know. I'm gonna be on here a few more minutes. Share to my page at the beginning. Thank you, Ginger, a Facebook page. Oh, did you share it, Lisa? Is that what you're saying? Thank y'all for sharing, y'all are so sweet. Um, Karen says, so if you book a location, how do you find the people to come? Great question. Okay, so booking a location, there are, I have a ton of marketing secrets. I'm only gonna share a couple here tonight. But um, when you book a location, you want to work closely with the restaurant or whoever is hosting it. And then there's certain incentives. I'm actually sending out a, another video, if you're on my email list, on Saturday about how to get prepaid customers. You will want to watch that video. You will definitely want to watch that video. Um, but one of the tricks in there is um, creating a Facebook event page and then giving people an, an incentive to um, register early. So if you're doing a painted prayers and they don't want to freehand it and you have a cutter um, or a vinyl cutter, you could um, say, okay, the painted prayers, you know, the deadline is this date because I have to get all of the vinyl ready. Like you don't want people showing up last minute or you won't have, um, you won't have, you know, their stencils ready and you do not want to try to freehand all this. I mean, I can paint and I can freehand, but to freehand everybody's quotes or prayers or scriptures is going to be a nightmare. So, so you don't want to just um, freehand. And then also you can have um, you can have incentives where if they register by a certain time, it's five dollars off. So that's another really great incentive. That's how I've been filling up some of my parties is doing like a, a VIP special or a five dollars off special. Um, and guys, the reason I'm cutting this is if you try to do an entire block of vinyl, if anybody's ever worked with vinyl, it is a nightmare. So um, I do sections of it. Am I doing this right? You say. And I'm actually going to go over this and really spruce it up and make it way cool. Okay, let's see. Shared. Thank you, Brenda, for sharing. Okay, Karen, should we get a stencil maker? Um, here's the thing. You do not have to have a stencil cutter. I actually, um, this will be year, in March will be two years for me for a stencil cutter. And I've taught paint parties way longer than that. No. Yeah. You know that it's, um, oh, uh, Pixie's telling me something. You say I'm held when I'm falling short. And when I don't belong, you say I'm yours, right? Oh, crap. Did I forget a lyric? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot somewhere. Y'all got to keep me on my toes. Between Pixie and y'all, y'all got to keep me straight because I think I forgot a whole yep. a whole lyric. Thank you. Man, I would have been so bummed if I would have finished it. If you're doing painted prayers for customers, make sure you have all their words right. Definitely. Um, so you don't need to have a cutter to do this business. Um, a lot of my paintings, I think a, a bunch of my paintings in December which um, if you were in Paint Party Headquarters and you used the tutorials I gave you, um, a lot of them, I, I released the track. And 
Oh my gosh, the, the one I have coming this year for Christmas, I'm gonna be releasing the Vintage Santa, is going to make y'all so much money in your paint parties. I am so, so excited about that because I, I did it about halfway into December. It was just kind of like a, it was just like a fun, you know, painting I was working on and I decided to go live with it. And I was having people message me like, can I change it to the vintage Santa? And I was like, that's not even a choice yet. Like, I'm, I don't have that one ready for that, that type of painting. I done a giant, large vintage Santa. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can look at my other videos. But, um, but that one's going to be one of the ones I released in Paint Party Headquarters this year. And the truck and tree that I released, um, for those of you that aren't sure what I'm talking about, like I give people rights every month to certain paintings and then they can just immediately start to take action. So like if you did the challenge and you have a restaurant scheduled and you're like, crap, I got this restaurant scheduled but I don't know what to, to offer them. This is where it comes in handy where you're like, okay, Heidi's tutorials or you know guest tutorials, here it is. I already have my marketing pack, I already have my um, tutorial and then I can just you know plug and play pretty much. So, um, so yeah, so that truck and tree, it was like the gift that kept on giving. I mean, it paid for several people in our group's Christmas, their entire Christmas this year, and um, it paid for our entire Christmas, um, and you'd only have to have one or two really great paintings per season to really make this business work. Um, I think where people get stuck is they are trying to create a thousand paintings thinking that, um, and let me know if you have questions. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm only gonna be on here a few more minutes, so let me know if you have any burning questions. Um, but I think so many people get confused and they really don't know what order to do things in. They think, oh, I gotta have you know a whole wall of paint or I gotta have um, a whole arsenal of paintings for them to choose from. None of that is correct. Um, the way I teach you is a totally different method and I learned through learning it. I wish and prayed and hoped I would have had somebody online that was teaching me how to do this, but I didn't. And I just um, kept having success with paint parties and then I kept having people ask me about having paint parties, how am I doing it? And that's when it really hit me like, people wanna know this and if they can shortcut their way, why not? Like, you know, there's this quote, I think it's Tony Robbins or Bill Gates that talks about you know, if you want to do what somebody else is doing, model what they're doing. Um, and you'll get there so much faster, you know, than you trying to figure it all out. So these things I'm telling you, like in that video that is coming to your email, if you don't get my emails, sign up today and get this free ebook in the comments or in the description. And then tomorrow morning, you're going to get an email of a challenge that's going to tell you exactly what to do to book a party fast. And today, the people that got that email are already booking. <laughs> They're like, what do I say next? Oh my gosh, people are interested. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this stuff works. It works. And, and you just gotta take fear through action. I mean, you gotta take action through fear. I said it backwards, sorry. So, um, and I gotta, I gotta freehand something else too. I forgot to put that letter on. What is going on with me today? All right, let's see what's going on in the questions. Um, just pick paintings without words. Yes, Brenda, exactly. Um, love my cutter, but you don't have to use one at first. I save money up front from paint parties to buy mine. Yeah, that's, guys, a profit every party. Do not go spend a crap load of money and then hope you get a party. Book a party first, then buy your supplies. It's that easy. Um, do I need to take the O and A out while it's wet? You don't have to, Brenda. I usually wait, see how all my little things in there? I wait to take out the little insides. Okay, I think that's important, but I do pull, I do pull right away. So let me know if you're on this, if you're on this Facebook Live, if you are the person who wants to start paint parties or you are tagging somebody who might be interested in this. Again, I don't know how long I'm gonna be giving away my $17 ebook, so please share with a friend while they have the um, thing. And then Sunday is the big webinar where I'm gonna paint party everything. I'm gonna talk paint party business everything. So let me check here for any more questions. Um, is paint from the craft section at Walmart okay for canvas painting? Yes, ma'am, it is. I painted with Walmart for many years and 50 cents. 
Oh, Ginger, have a good night. Um, okay, so let me know if you have questions. I'm gonna continually work on this, kind of showing y'all the step in the process. And then I'm also gonna show you how I spruce all these letters up to make it into what it really needs to be um, and how I want it to look for the final amount because I really want this to be a powerful word um, by Lauren Daigle. I think it's so important. I'm just gonna read it to you because I just wanna end on that, okay? So again, share this with your crafty friends or if you're the one wanting to start teaching paint parties because if they get on that email list, check your spam to make sure that you're getting it because you will not want to miss Sunday night's webinar. And it is an email invitation only. It's not gonna be a live. Um, so make sure. Yeah, and, um, and it does in Paint Party Headquarters, which I'll talk more about that um, probably Sunday night too. I'm gonna be telling you a ton of information. But um, yeah, it's gonna give you rights to original art by me, by guest um, instructors that you can use every month. It's like a plug and play marketing packs, social media hacks. It is like the dream, the dream of which I would have had several years ago. It is, it is what I just saw, saw that I needed and you know, ended up creating it for others and realizing that it's really helping them. And so Karen wants to start paint parties. Karen, I am so excited for you. It is, it's like this paint party adventure. Like my life is filled with color and fun and new people and excitement and I just get so excited. And um, Jesse would like info on rights. I'll tell you more about that on Sunday, so be there. And um, you're missing the K in the word week. Oh, Felicia, thank you. Thank you, Felicia. Oh my gosh, what would I do without you? Let me see. K, do I have any Ks to copy? All right, I'm gonna have to make my own K. Thank you. And then if you shared, I'm gonna be gifting you a box. I'm gonna um, give somebody a box of my favorite supplies shipped to your house, so please share. Um, let's see, um, Tanya says, I teach first grade all day and I got the ebook earlier this week but haven't had time to read it yet. And Tanya, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of pictures. So it is a very short read. It's a 40 page, very short read, so take 20 minutes to just go through it. I mean, you won't, you might not even need 20 minutes, eh, maybe 20 minutes, but I promise you, you will not regret it. There's so many tips and tricks in here. Um, and while it, <laughs> sorry, I almost dropped it. While it's free, um, don't, don't miss out while it's free. Cause again, like I said, I don't know how long I'll have it on there for free. And then let's see, um, I work till seven Sunday. Am I gonna miss the webinar? Lisa, if you sign up for the free ebook and you're on my email list and you've checked your spam and you're getting my emails, then I will send out a recording. So make sure you are getting my emails. That's the big thing. And um, so yeah, if you have to work and you can't be there live, however, it's gonna be about a one to two hour webinar. So catch, like get on it and, and check with it because I'm gonna be answering tons of questions. So if you have any questions at all, and um, I'll be on there answering during that webinar. So make sure you um, you take the time to you know try to if you, if you even if you can't get on until the end, get on there and answer, ask some questions because I really want to help y'all. Again, my mission is you know to have people teach paint parties all over the world because the more kind we are to each other, the more times we have to show God's love through art, show God's love through teaching others, and um, inspiring each other with words like this from Lauren Daigle and um, just makes the whole world a better place. You know, it's so important. Um, are you going to have another webinar after the 22nd? Um, no, Shelly. Um, basically, I'll do a webinar on the 13th and then it'll probably be a little while before I do another one. They take a lot of energy and a lot of time, so it'll probably be a little while. So make sure you um, join and watch the the webinar on Sunday. If not, Monday you'll get the recording. Um, and then, oh, going on a cruise. Oh, that sounds so fun. If you get Wi-Fi while you're sitting by the pool, me and you by the pool, Shelly. Me and you. Dreaming up some paint party adventures. That's what it's all about. And um, yeah, I still wanna go on a cruise. I have an idea for 
Tell Me Paint Party Headquarters girls, I was laying in bed the other night and I was like, I know a lot of you have been asking about doing a live event where we all come together and brainstorm and I teach you things in person. And I thought, wouldn't it be so cool to have our live event on a cruise? And then we have like a time where we do teaching things too. Like, let me know what you think about that. I thought that would be so cool to like have a four night cruise, but it's paint party related. It's all our paint party girls. I was like, wouldn't that be a dream? I think I'm gonna really look into that. I've been I've been trying to figure it for months now. I've been figuring out a way like how to do like a live event for y'all. And um, the other day it just hit me. I was like, what about a paint party cruise? Like we could all meet up at a, a location and you know, just bunk together. We could all kind of bunk together and then I would have certain things offered for y'all as part of the cruise. I just I don't know. I just think that would be so fun. That would be like the best business trip ever. And you can write it off because it's business related. It's all business mentorship and learning and all of that great stuff. Oh, Shelly says yes. Charla says yes. I know. I'm like, I'm thinking that's the way to go. Like that's how we should do the business, the business entrepreneur meetings there. And um, so let me know what you think of that. All right. Last thing I'm going to leave y'all with you say, I'm going to leave y'all with the, um, the words of this because Guys, if you struggle with saying, if you struggle, I mean, we all do. So if you, if you say you don't struggle, you're lying. I mean, let's just be real. We all struggle with things we say to ourselves, And I think if we were to document the things we say to ourselves without even realizing it all day, every day, we would never say that stuff to our best friend, to our daughters, to our moms, to our family members. We just would not talk like that to ourselves, to our friends and family. So why would we talk like that to ourselves? So when you're feeling down and you're feeling, you know, I recommend making a painted prayer, which is either a scripture, it's either a verse, it's either a, something that's inspiring, a quote, it's anything like that. And then putting it up where you're going to see it. So if I know this is awkward, but let's say you got to pee a lot. <laughs> Put it right in front of the toilet. So every time you go pee, instead of, you know, checking your phone, look at that and just read them and constantly fill yourself with positivity. You have got to protect your mind. I mean, I cannot stress this enough. Building a business, a paint party business, there are so many people in my close friends and family that I will not talk about my business with. There are even things that I don't talk about with my husband because not that, you know, I don't think he'll understand. Well, some of it he won't because he, you know, my goals are, I have a certain goal and I'm driven to do a certain thing, but there are things that I protect myself with. There are family members that I know are going to, you know, hold their limitations of themselves onto, they're going to project it onto me. And I don't want to hear it. I have big plans for 2019. I have huge plans for everybody and, and paint party headquarters. And I am not going to allow. And I used to. I used to tell everybody about everything. And if, you know, the mailman would listen, they were going to hear about what I was doing. And then I started thinking like, no, I need to protect this. Because when I hear their negativity of what they feel like can't happen, it affects me. And even though I know anything is possible and I know God can create miracles and I know God can make our business explode and do all those things. But if I'm surrounding myself with people that are doubting, you know, their capabilities and they're projecting that onto me, it is not a good feeling. So what I want you to do is if you're struggling with that internal voice and you're thinking, oh, it can't work for me. I want you to, oh, thanks for the hearts. I know you are listening when I see comments and likes and hearts. So thank you. And um, I want you to think about what painted prayer could you create? And again, this was just a piece of wood, a piece of wood, a bunch of random strokes. And then I took a, a couple stencils and did some gold metallics, which I'm going to ship one of y'all a, a fun package for sharing and commenting. And then I just did the, the quote. And so I'm going to leave you with you saying, and I just want you to listen to these words, okay? So if you're in a place where it's not awkward, you know, maybe close your eyes. And I'm not going to sing it because I will make you really sad. Singing is not my talent, although I do it often. 
<laughs> in my car, I even belt out some songs, but it is not pretty. My poor daughter, she has to hear it all. Okay, so I want to leave you with these words. It's really horrible. Did you hear? It's really horrible. Thanks, pigs. You're welcome. It's bad. It's really bad. But you know, I like to think that once it hits heaven, it just changes the worship. <laughs> and God doesn't hear it that way. I like to think once it hits that heaven line, it's like, Whoa! you know, it's like beautiful. Let's just hope. Let's just hope. If not, God knows. He gives us all different talents for a reason. Okay, so I want to read this to you. Close your eyes if you're in a, a place where it's not going to be awkward. <laughs> if you're in the grocery store right now, it might be weird. Um, but I just want you to really take this in, okay? All right, you say I am loved when I can't feel a thing. You say I'm strong when I think I am weak. You think you say I am held when I feel when when I am falling short. I missed that one. You say I'm held when I am falling short. You say I'm yours. Which part did I miss? Um, so it's I forgot to cut you out. You say I'm loved when I can't feel a thing. You say I am strong when I think I am weak. You say I'm a help. Uh, you say I'm a help. You say, I am held when I am falling short, and when I don't belong, you say, I am yours. And when I don't belong, you say, I'm yours. And I don't know about y'all, but I have been in many a crowded rooms and felt totally alone. Have y'all ever been in a crowded room and felt totally alone? There was a situation not too long ago, and I was like just looking around, and everybody was talking to everybody else, and I was like, trying to find somebody, you know, like when you're trying to lock eyes just to like communicate <laughs> and then nobody's locking eyes with you. So then it's that awkwardness of standing in a room with 150 people and I don't know anybody, <laughs> you know, and you have to remember like there's other people too that have that feeling. So, and um, just know that, you know, God loves you. I love you. And there's so many great things we can do this year with paint parties. But like I said, I am only one person. I can only teach so many events. And I really want you out there teaching paint parties and sharing God's love through paint parties. And um, get the ebook today. Again, I don't know how long it's going to be there. So share this with a crafty friend. And then um, people who share, I'm going to be picking one person to give a bunch of fun goodies away. A bunch of my favorite metallic products. Um, ooh, this one's texture. I might not share this one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll put that one in there. I might try it out. You might get it with part of it gone. Is that okay? Y'all good with that? Because um, I could really do a cool thing on a mermaid tail with that. Ideas. Squirrel ideas. And then also look for the email on Sunday night's webinar. Save the date, 7 p.m. Central. And um, we are going to go over everything paint party business related. And I am so, so excited for y'all this year. There's so much exciting stuff coming. So many opportunities if you just stop all of the crazy negative talk. And um, so many opportunities. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> yeah, I tend to... Um, I have three brothers and a sister, and I'm pretty much the butt of all jokes. Yeah, that's how it works in my family. I'm the middle child. That might have a lot to do with it. So anyway, um, I love you guys. I hope that you are liking the Painted Prayers. Let me know by sharing, commenting, liking. And again, this is in progress. I will keep you posted on how it's going. And let me know if you have questions. All right, bye, guys.